For the past 60 years, adding weight to a bat or swinging a heavy bat has been the primary method to train for increased swing speed and power. Recently, several studies have quantitatively proven that swinging a weighted bat actually decreases swing speed and hampers swing mechanics. A review of the forces that a weight imposes upon a swung bat reveals why weights are detrimental to improving swing speed. First, a weight on a bat imposes a downward force due to gravity. This downward force does not engage or strengthen muscles that are required to swing a bat with speed and power. The downward force of a weight only engages muscles that are used to keep the bat up in the desired swing path. Furthermore, adding weight to a bat often causes hitters to drop their hands at the beginning of the swing, which builds a habit that is detrimental to good swing mechanics. Second, a weight on a swung bat is subject to centrifugal force. This is the same effect that we feel when we're on a spinning merry-go-round, where we feel as though we're being thrown outward. With a swinging weighted bat, this gives the feeling that the bat is being pulled away. To counter centrifugal force, we'll have to tighten our grip to hang onto the bat. However, at no point does centrifugal force provide resistance opposite the swing path, which is our goal in trying to develop a strong and powerful swing. Finally, a weight on a swinging bat is subject to the law of inertia, which states that an object in motion will stay in motion. Adding weight to a swung bat will make the bat feel like it's on cruise control and will not require additional strength to keep it moving along its arc. We want a swing speed trainer that creates resistance opposite the path of the bat. Unfortunately, the law of inertia creates a force that is in the same direction of our swing path and basically assists our swing. It makes the swing easier for us. By analyzing the three forces a weight imposes on a swung bat, gravity's downward force, the outward centrifugal force, and the inertial force, we can understand why studies repeatedly show that donuts, swing sleeves, barrel weights, and weighted bats are useless when training for swing speed and power.